Here on Credlin, one of your very favourite regulars, of course, is Kel Richards. We usually do him with Words Matter on a Wednesday. We love him, don't we? Well, he's now taken his own love of words all the way back to colonial times. The pretty astonishing story of James Hardy Vaux, a convict fraudster and author of Australia's first dictionary. Kel's written a book all about this man and he joins me now from Sydney. Congratulations on the book. Tell me all about this character. Well, he was... Uh, he, he came from a good background. His grandfather was a lawyer, came from a good middle-class family and just went wrong. So he, he chose a criminal path by the age of about 15 and just kept on offending and offending. He was transported to Australia as a convict three times. Now, that suggests he wasn't paying attention to what was going wrong in his life. But ah. because he had that background... He learnt the language of the convicts and he sort of learnt the language of the convicts in the criminal class in London as a second language. Now, that meant that he was unusually well-equipped to understand what convict slang was all about. It was called the flash language, convict slang. To understand what they were saying, to understand what it came from and to record it, which he did. So this man who lived this amazing, colourful sort of life. I don't think I would have liked him if I'd met him. I don't think I would have trusted him because he was a real con man and a shark. But... He had a sharp brain yeah. and he's left us this wonderful little dictionary of convict slang which tells us, I mean, I tell his whole story in the book, but his little dictionary tells us that you and I, uh, Peter, still talk like convicts to this day. Well, I'm sure I do. My mother would tell me I do. But give me a sense <laughs> of some of the convict slang words uh, that we've now adopted as part of Australian speech today. Well, uh, there are hundreds of them. I mean, if someone borrows something from you and they're cadging it, right, cadging it from you, uh, then that, that's a convict term. If they say they're out of money and I haven't got a bean, bean is a convict slang term. Uh, if we, if wow. we say... Yeah, so if we say, so you're all dressed up, we say, oh, you're looking flash tonight. Flash is a convict term. So there are, if, if you call your clothes your duds or your togs, you're speaking like a convict. So we are doing it all the time without realising it. One of the things I've done is we've reprinted the whole of uh, James Hardy Vox's little dictionary in the back of this book so you can have a look and discover how much like a convict you are already speaking. But his story, as you say, is a fascinating story. And, and the convicts have contributed to the world we live in today and the language we speak today. I mean, it's one of those reasons mm. why the truth about Australian history must never be lost. I tell you what, Kel Richard, you can get yourself a job writing the curriculum. It's in a <laughs> serious need for a redrafting. This book, Flash Jim, it's That's out it. there on sale at the moment. Harbour Collins is holding it up there for you. Get out there and get it in all good bookstores from next week. I'll see you Wednesday night. Thanks, Kel. Talk to you Wednesday. Thank you.